hey guys you're welcome back um today's topic is very very important and i want you to bring your pen paper to take a note of everything i'm going to say and that is because for a while now i've been researching reading a lot of things online about my people and by my people i mean nigerians to help me understand us more and to know where our heads are at currently and most especially our men and even some of us women in fact i've just been studying us nigerians and after my research what i found out is what has informed this video so if you're a woman watching this it's very important to pay close attention also if you're someone that is living outside of nigeria and you want to move back to nigeria either in search of motherland fatherland sisterhood brother roots sorry whatever this video will be very important because it will help you understand the people or how to carry yourself to have a meaningful stress-free productive life in nigeria as a woman number one how to be a woman in nigeria or how to live as a woman in nigeria or expectations of women in nigeria do not have orgasm he shock you I, should i repeat myself again don't don't even expect to have orgasm orgasm like one man said don't because why would you want to have orgasm why it's left for the other people it's left for men alone your job there is to reproduce and eventually go for omugo so why are you looking for things that are reserved for men alone is everything okay so you asking for that is like you're asking to it's like you're asking for the forbidden fruits it's like you are eve now in that garden of eden looking for the forbidden fruit to eat the only difference is that there is no serpent whispering into your eyes but it is you who is whispering into your eyes by why would you want to have orgasm where are you going you want to come where are you going to where are you coming to it is it is it is it is not your prerogative right here in nigeria you're there to satisfy your man and after that you can even say thank you nai or thank you my lord or thank you my partner or thank you for coming i'm just saying it because a lot of you are getting wise you're asking for things you're making demands and you want things that's that, that is not natural you want things that you're not supposed to want it's, it's too much education you guys are getting wise all right but please take that off your your imagination take that away from your expectations and know that there is no orgasm for you all right now the next is living alone don't you dare my dear don't you dare live alone why do you want to live alone this especially if you're a single lady do you know it's like initiating yourself into the highest level bad beach kingdom the baddest of the baddies Forget what men say on the internet. I want a bad day. I want a bad bitch. I want Nicki Minaj with a touch of Messi Chimo. No way. In reality, nobody is going to touch you even with the longest pole ever. Because who knows what you did when you were living alone? Who was watching you? Who was monitoring you? Who? Uh, where did you go to? When do you come back? At those times you come back late. Where have you been? Who visits you? Who comes there? What do you... What do you do when they come? Do you get? So this is like, it's like, if there are a list of things, if there's a list of boxes to be checked, like you're not even meeting anyone. Who, who, uh, uh, everything is just zero, zero. It's like F9, F9, that's what you're getting. And you want to get married. No. If for any reason, you're not living with your parents. And by the way, why are you not living with your parents? But let's just assume something happened. You're not living with your parents. You have to stay in the hostel. Yeah. That makes sense. No, and if there is no hostel available for people that are no longer in school, leave it to your mommy G.O. That way, you're being monitored, who you talk to, where you talk, where you, who you talk to, who talks to you, when you go out, when you come back, what you do, and all that. That way, we are sure that you're not a damaged product. You're not a promiscuous lady. Nobody wants that. Nobody wants a damaged product. Remember, you get So why would you want to live alone? Hey, hmm. so please, my dear, as a single lady in Nigeria, please do not aspire to live alone unless you want to keep living alone till you leave this world. That is single to stupor. That is gonna be your destiny, okay? Don't try that. The next point is you see that front car seat? Hey, hmm, I'm gonna address that in two dimensions, right? If you are single, Okay, let's start from, in fact, as a woman, you're married, congrats. You can sit in the front seat because at least you've earned it. Now, 
someone especially a man you know you guys are driving and you see a man a friend of your husband and you guys speaking make sure you run fast and run to the back seat because that's where you belong otherwise why are you competing for front seat with a man or someone that is older than you are no because if you try it if you try it and say eh hey, as when you're a doggo, this is where I'm supposed to be. Go to the back. When you get home, that is how you carry your bag back to your father's house. And then when you get home, you now call the villagers and explain to them why. My God. Oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. Don't cry, don't cry. Don't cry. Do it. Do it. You do it. Don't worry. Don't worry. Aha. Don't worry. Do it. Aha. You explain to them why you brush shave upon them. Them is it that the fabric they use in making the back seats is different from the one used in making the front seats? I need to understand. You know, tell me. Make make it make sense to me. Do you know the level of shame you will bring into your to your kindred? So please do know that now. Even if you're married or you're single or both of you, just as long as you're a woman, then you take public transport either to a long the interstate or interstate. And for some reason, you're fortunate enough or you woke up very early, you're standing on the bus stop, an empty bus comes in and you hop into the front seat, which is even a sign of disrespect. But let's assume something was wrong with you, daddy. You hop onto the front seat and then a man comes in, you climb down and for the man to go inside, are you okay? What you should do in such a situation is to move to the inner one. You see that middle part that's usually hot and where as the driver is moving the gear, because most of them drive manual vehicles, you know, they use the stick. As they're moving the stick, they're inconvenient. So that is your spot. That is where you're supposed to be. And then let me also talk about Keke and Apepo tricycle. So assuming you're in a tricycle, you're at the extreme, and a man comes in, make sure to sit in the middle. And that way, you're at telling the world you are showcasing. It's like a peacock. You're advertising that... Hello, I'm well-mannered, I've got culture, and in case you want to marry me, I'm available, you know, things like that. I hope I'm not doing the AI thing, but because that was not intended, but that is the way to do. And who knows, you know, that behavior of yours, of yours, especially if you're single, could send signals to that man. And guess what? He'll ask for your number, say, who is your daddy? I want to see your daddy. And that is how you leave us in the single club and move to the members of responsible society gang. Upgrade, I so do go. Chicket, so don't come and say, I got here before you, please, sir, enter inside. Or, oh, oh boy, enter inside. No, 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 don't do that. The next thing that you shouldn't do is to own a car. Like, this one is even heavy in my mouth to say, like, why would you want to own a car and you're single? So let's say you're working, you're doing business, you're doing whatever, and um, you've saved a lot of money, money to be enough for you to buy a car. Don't do that. Don't fall for that temptation. That is Lucifer speaking. Lucifer is what wants to spoil your destiny. You can either save the money, put it back in the bank, give it to somebody, or send home. Just do whatever you did, but make sure you do not, for any reason, buy a car. Do you know what that means? Who's going to see you? That is the sense of pride. That is the highest level of pride. And no man wants to marry a proud woman. What I come in, like, what's the man gonna do for you then? When you're already driving? That means one day you chase him out of the house. Or you tell him, I want to orgasm like before because you're already driving. You've seen things, you've controlled sticks, you've controlled gears. Ah, ah, neck, calm down now. Don't. And don't go and learn how to drive, oh. Don't. Your first car should be given to you by your husband. Driving school, in fact, learning how to drive should be taught to you by your husband. That is how you remain loyal, humble, and a successful girl in Nigeria. What are you buying a car for? What for? There are no buses. Take boats. Take care, care, trek, whatever. But don't buy a car for yourself, all right? The next thing you shouldn't do is stop traveling. I see a lot of you girls on your Instagram place, your Instagram profile, you have your highlights, different countries, um, Dubai, um, Maldives, Seychelles, um, London, blah, blah, blah. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And you're wondering why you're still single. <laughs> you did that yourself. You don't. Why traveling? Because in Nigeria, traveling is a call to a low show. I hope you know what that means. You want to brandish yourself on a low show? No. 
You know, before I used to think that um, traveling means you're expanding your knowledge base, you know, you're learning the world, you know, becoming a better world versus people, but hell no. If you have plans of getting married at all, please make sure you do not travel. And if you by accident travel, because why we don't want to travel? Who's going to send you to travel? If you by accident travel, hide it. Hide it. It's something you should be ashamed of. Why are you proud? You're showing people. Girls trip. <sighs> Girl, please don't do that. What are you traveling for? Even within Nigeria, what are you going up and down for? If you're not looking for, for other men that will pancake you, don't do that, okay? The last but not the least for this episode is do not earn more than your husband. Don't be richer than your husband. If for any reason they, get, they want to promote you in the office, tell them no. And you know that promotion comes with benefits that will make you economically higher or more relevant than your husband. You see how I stand in my mouth? More relevant than your husband. That is a recipe for disaster. But let's say you've tried everything, you've been a bad bitch, you've been so lazy at your work, you know, just to avoid promotion, just to avoid some sort of increment coming to you and it happens. You know how it has happened, right? So let's assume it's now a natural disaster. You couldn't control it, it was beyond your control. What you do is you now come back home, come to your man, tell him, see you, see what has happened. But what is bigger than me is coming to my house to torment me. Can you believe these people? They spent everything I told them. Telling them off. Not attending meetings, you know, just being a bad employee. So that they don't deem me fit for this thing. After everything, they still promoted me. And guess what? My salary is higher than yours. Or what I'm bringing home at month end or day end is higher than yours. What do we do? talking what he would do is to you know figure it out just think about it and tell you what to do and whatever he tells you to do make sure you do it okay make sure you do it even if you say leave that job my dear tomorrow morning i don't even wait for tomorrow morning immediately send the mail change your scene so they don't reach and talk sense into your confuse you that is not talking sense they're trying to confuse you they are serpentine spirits shun them and do what your husband says okay so there are other things you have to do, but let's start with this few. So once you start applying them, let me know how it's going for you. Then we can do our um, second episode. And um, if you have other tips, please drop our fellow sisters in the comment section so that they'll learn and have a stress-free life in Nigeria as a woman. Remember what we are talking about is how to be a woman or being a woman in Nigeria, how to succeed, navigate life and do all of those things. All right. So until I come your way next time, do have a lovely day and remember to subscribe to this channel, drop your comments, share this video and um, cheers to serious women to do more. Did I just say more? Why would you want to do more? <sighs> that was a mistake. <laughs>